Today I'd like to tie for you a classic wet fly, and this is the Gold Monkey. The hook I have in the vise is a size 12. This is a wet fly nymph hook. I'm going to use black thread. Start the thread behind the eye, and we're going to put down a base all the way back to the tail. Hold that at 45 degree angle, and you'll get one wrap right next to the previous. And we'll remove the excess thread. Now for the tail, I'm going to use guinea bird. And you can see this; these are light, nice long stiff fibers, good for a tail. These are the ones that are kind of stuck together, haven't really uh, matured, grown long enough to pop apart. And I'm going to take maybe about six of those fibers. We're going to tie that in for the tail. And we're going to make that tail the length of the hook shank. Tie it in right at that second white. Give it a wrap underneath. I'm going to remove that excess. Now I'm going to take number 16, gold and silver tinsel, and I want to see the silver when I am done. So I'm going to tie it with the silver to the hook so I can see the gold side. Now I'm going to take yellow silk floss. I'm going to tie that in. I'm going to make that tag just the length of the body. And we're going to wrap that in. Back off that just a bit. Give my bobbin a spin counterclockwise so that it flattens out. And you can see we got a little bit of a hump here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and forth with the thread. Come up to about an eye length or an eye length and a half. Flatten my thread out once again. and come back with it. Give it that spin one more time counterclockwise and we're going to bring it forward. And now we have a closer level body. And we're going to stop that one eye length from the eye. I'm going to take that yellow floss and I'm going to wrap that. Ensure that you get it right to the back first. And bring that forward. Watch the point of the hook because silk floss will break very easily. Or you'll get frays on it. We're going to bring that forward. Then I'm going to take it back and forward once more. Just to ensure that I keep that color. If you could see the back there, there's a little bit of dark stick showing through. And we'll get a plumper body with this three passes. And there's that fray I was talking about. and bring that forward. And 
we're going to tie that in. Remove that excess. Put a couple more wraps to hold that end down. Now I'm going to take the tinsel and I'm going to wind that forward. Okay, if we get one wrap right on the back, that's fine. And then we're going to make nice even wraps forward. When we reach this front here, go ahead and add another wrap to it. Bring that up and hold it tight while you secure it. There we go. And we'll go ahead and remove that excess. Now I'm going to take a pair of mallard quill. I have a right and a left and we're going to put them together and you can see I cut some off these already. To get the right side wing you can take them they're put together. I'm going to put them underneath. I'm going to touch the hook shank and stick that through there. And that's the proper size for your wing. And we have a slightly divided wing. I'm going to take this and I want this to go just slightly into the tail. Maybe so it comes to about that white section. So I'm going to size them up. I'm going to hold them tightly. Take a loose loop, pull it straight down. You see those fronts pop up and you'll know that it's secured on top nicely. I'm going to go forward just slightly. I had a couple of them that broke there. That's good. And I'm going to go ahead and trim off the excess. Trim that pretty close. You don't want to crowd your eye. And tidy up that head area. Bring that thread right back to the wing post once again. Now for the hackle, I'm going to use a king and bird hackle. And you want the fed the barbels to be long on this. You could have them into the tail area there slightly. I gave it the crew cut and we're going to tie this right in. I'm going to trim off that little bit of excess there. Get that to stand for me. There we go. Tidy up that head a bit. And leave your thread about halfway. Take your hackle pliers. And we're going to give this a couple of turns. Now I'm going to tie that down, bring that thread back the rest of the way. Grab a hold of that hackle tip and tie this in. Now we're going to remove that excess. I'm going to hold everything back. 
going to form the head and I'm going to come back on the hackles just one thread length width just enough to hold them towards the back Take my whip finisher, get the poke and snip and remove that. I'll take that one out. That's better. And here we have the classic wet fly, the gold monkey. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Leave comments, questions, suggestions. And most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.